Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here today. I'm actually going to do some um, collage, but I just wanted to show you that I am getting my pages together for my um, shabby Victorian here, and so I have put some lace on some edges and things, and then this one over here I put, you know, the, um, what do you call it, just like a, a little tuck spot there, and this uh, alteration card I was going to show you guys because I just punched holes and you know this isn't like a novel idea or anything but then I put the organza ribbon through there and then just put a couple of little pieces of lace so I thought that was kind of fun so anyways I, that's where I'm at on that this cover is a paper pumpkin box like I've used lots of times and I'm going to cover it with this lace but as you can see the issue is and it's not like it's a huge deal but the brown you can see under there and um, I, this is like the first layer of lace so it's not like by the time it's done you're going to see a ton of what's under here but you will see what's under here so what I'm thinking of doing is just collaging or you know putting down old book page so that at least it looks um, a little more Kind of aged or just not like cardboard <laughs> basically is kind of what i'm wanting um so i'll just probably put all different pieces down there so that when you wherever you can see it'll be just writing or that nice kind of creamy color but anyway that's where i'm at with that i made a trip to hobby lobby today and that's always always interesting but even more interesting right now it was kind of crazy surprisingly I guess they were really crazy busy um, last Friday when everything kind of opened up in my state I mean not everything but you know you can go into retail stores um, they let a certain number of people in that type of thing but anyway you can at least go in and get some things that you need and I was like running out of fabric so I wasn't sure how I was going to do this journal with, I mean, I have like laces and doilies and things that people have given me, but I just needed like fabric, fabric. So anyway, I'm going to collage on this uh, piece of manila paper and I have this um, paper stack from Paper Studio and that's a Hobby Lobby brand and this one's called Theodosa square I guess I don't really know how to say that but there it is that's the name of it right there there's 180 sheets 12 by 12 and they're the thinner the lighter weight papers um, which is what I like to collage with that's one of the reasons I don't do a ton of collage with like scrapbook papers I use digis because um, it's just hard to use thick paper because then by the time you glue it onto something and then if you do back it it just gets way thick so anyway I've just torn some of the pages that I liked out and I used this um, particular page on that little tuck that I made so I just have some other pages of it torn out it's very pretty paper I'm not sure exactly what I want to do first here thinking some pink would probably be good since we're kind of on that theme I just got all different ones and I may not end up using all the ones that I tore out or whatever but it's just a jumping off point so I'll just be using those today I won't be using any digis by request um, I had a, a subscriber ask me to do a collage without digitals so that's what I'm gonna do I mean I did I mentioned to her that a lot of my digital downloads um, the collages that I've done for those are not um, other people's digis because I can't, you know, use the, that for that. And I can't use like this for uh, my digital downloads either, so. And I am going to ink since we're doing more of a, you know, vintage kind of thing. I mean, it's not real grungy because it's more of a shabby sort of thing, but. I still like a little ink. I did slow stitching last night. I tried it. I've never ever done it before. So like <laughs> this was the first one you can probably tell because it's kind of a hot mess. I did the stitches too big and too far apart kind of thing. It works a lot better if you do them closer together. But anyway, I've, I've 
no no sewer or anything so that's all a new sort of thing to me but I kind of like them I think they turned out okay for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing might use them on a pocket or something that is definitely not my wheelhouse But they had, Hobby Lobby had fabric 50% off, and they had their, some, uh, you know, their paper studio paper 50% off. And so I grabbed this stack because it looked like stuff I could use in with this journal I'm making. So that was fun. Let's do it thinner. So I hope you guys are having a good day. It's pretty nice here. Very warm for this time of the year here. Again, I'm shocked. Because, I mean, it definitely gets warm here, but usually not this warm in May. If you hear a flute, it's my daughter. She's down in my shower. Um, just, you know, she's not taking a shower, but she's in, in the shower for the acoustics playing her flute. <laughs> So if you can hear it, I don't know how much you'll be able to hear, but anyway. Crazy kids. And if you think that's loud, you should hear the piccolo. That thing will break your eardrums. That's what she's going to have to play in marching band, and she is going to go to BSU, so she's been accepted into Blue Thunder, so she's very excited about that. That is what she was dying to do, so. If, I don't know, <laughs> hopefully by then they'll have some of that straightened out, and they'll be able to have marching band, because... That was her whole reason for choosing the SU pretty much. Well, that, I mean, truly, for around here, for what she wants to do, that's probably the only school she can really go to. But Anyway, so that's, she's getting ready for that. So yeah, there's some cool images on here to use. Always remember too that even if I am using you know, a paper that you don't have or whatever, you can use any paper. I just am kind of showing things that I do just to give ideas. It doesn't mean you have to do, you know, do it the same way or whatever. So always think about, well, I have, you know, paper with roses on it or whatever, whatever the thing is that would, you know, make it look like that if that's what you're going for. If you're going for something entirely different, these are just really um, ideas. So. Here, but I cut this too narrow. Wanted it under just a little bit down there, but I guess I can take something else and go. Just make more scraps. <laughs> like we do. Yeah, I kind of just needed a. a relaxing collage session. <laughs> so if, if you're bored watching me collage, you can move on. I'm, I don't mind. I understand. It's just sometimes very relaxing. Page. 
much. It was fun to go to Hobby Lobby and do something besides grocery shopping. So tired of grocery shopping anyway. I mean, you know, you got to do it, but it was nice to go act normal again or whatever you want to call it. Even though it's always odd seeing everybody wearing masks, but you know, that's tolerable. That's better than when it first started and everybody was just kind of going crazy. I don't know. Everywhere I went it just seemed like this mad rush and just franticness. And that like wears on me real fast. I can't even stay composed when that's going on because I start to feel like that. Even though I knew, you know, that's not going to help. So, <laughs> Stay calm and get the things you need, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, that's just really... All I can think is I need to leave when it's like that. And I'm sure that's why most people fail, too. Yeah, these papers are really pretty. I like them. Very nice. Paper Studio, I, I tend to like a lot of their stuff. This will be fun because I'll be able to make um, tags and pockets and things out of this for the journal. I'm liking uh, the pages. I just need to put some more lace on and stuff before I can sew them in and I need to figure out the uh, cover. I was kind of struggling with that. So I feel better now that I've figured something out. I'm actually kind of do it. So I hope you like that Janice, that cover like that. It's what you see so far anyway. I know it's hard to tell when you're not seeing the whole thing. There will be other laces too, not just um, that one. At least Hobby Lobby. I mean, they were out of some things, but it looked pretty good after even after Friday. I guess that was kind of crazy for them. But um, my husband knows. It's one of the people that work for him at the hospital. The man's wife works at Hobby Lobby, and I guess she said it was just nuts. And then they had to like stay later than usual and clean everything up. <laughs> And you know they have to like sanitize stuff too, so yeah, it sounds like that was kind of wild. Kind of go along. I kind of figured it would be like that Friday, though. That's why I didn't really go anywhere. I mean, I did do a couple things, but I tried to stay away from real retail because I knew it would be nuts after so long of no no stores open. I tried to get fabric online because I was like that would be the easiest way but I seriously every place that I look it's either they're charging way 
uh, more than I can spend or um, they you can't get it until the middle of June or something. It's like, well, that's not going to help me with this journal. <laughs> that is not helpful. And I know it's because of all the face masks. Like, I get, I get that that's more important, obviously. But it just makes it a little hard when you're trying to do things like this. I don't like that purple on there. I didn't know that I would like that, but I do. script. <laughs> well, the script's not purple, the background's purple, but it's pretty. Another piece of the one with the ladies or something would be good. I really just want more her image than the writing. I mean, I can use this piece somewhere else. I was feeling kind of out, all out of sorts too, like I didn't know what I wanted to do today and I tried to do some stuff earlier and oh I did do something kind of cool that I'll show you guys what I did before I went and ran to Hobby Lobby and got my oil changed. Because that needed to get done. It's funny how everything was just sort of in limbo. Next thing I need really badly is a haircut, and so does my son. And my husband, but probably my son the most. <laughs> I'm going to do kind of that long, skinny piece. I like these. Um, I don't want to tear this lady over here. I just like this with these chess pieces and stuff. Or maybe they're perfume bottles. I don't know. I can't. Oh, yeah, maybe perfume bottles. I don't know. They're neat looking. Whatever they are. Part of the butterfly. But yeah, I was the only one at the place to get my oil changed. That was amazing because, like I said, the DMV was nutty. But maybe that's where everybody is still. <laughs> 
the people that didn't go yesterday and went today. I like this blue right here. from up there down. I have to go like that. It's because it already looks collaged, it's like all different pieces. Of, it looks to be like um, fashion advertisement type sideways now. Well, at least for this one because of the way the paper's oriented. I need a little more glue on down here, it feels like. I'm going like totally different directions and stuff. <laughs> squarish one. This is really pretty. Oh, you know what I should do is another piece of book page just to tie. Not that it matters, all these pieces are not going to go together anyways, but I just like to do that. The end result, I like to be cohesive. page. I'll actually probably really enjoy putting it all over the cover of that, <laughs> that box. The whole texture of it and everything is just cool. playing flute anymore. I don't know what she's doing now. I'll take a piece of this. so we'll probably end up taking something off when I come up here a little further. Hmm. I'll take a little bit more off this side. I think I kind of like it overlapping on there. there. Mm -hmm. I'll put one of these 
these other ladies. I like this one with the hat. Yeah, this is this package of paper has some very pretty stuff in it. I like it. I think I only need about that size actually. underneath here. Do it this way so we can see the rows a little bit better. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one down first. That I need to add a few things. I'm wondering if I should put some of these shabby dabby doo dah. Treasure would be good. Ah, I gotta wipe my fingers off. Hold on just a second. driving me crazy. I could put a purple stamp too. That's from my, these ones are from my purple digi. Sorry, that just, it makes me crazy when my hands are all covered in that glue and ink. I think I'd be used to it, but it does bug me. Over there. Oh my goodness me. You can't do it when you're on top of anything. With certain things, it just doesn't work. No matter how hard you push down on it. Kind of like that more. frame of that one better. This is wonderful. So this is, these are something that aren't in the paper pack, but you could keep using like the ladies or the butterflies or whatever from that paper pack or any other little um, butterflies or things you might have would also work. 
going to put this one here. Sometimes like stuff like that on there. So let's see, we could also do a one of these number ones. Kind of want one with like. And a little more color or something. It's kind of cool. Could put the treasure one over there. That green color would look good. So with the blue. back in here. There's a little rosette, <clears throat> which I got more of today, the pink ones, because I needed those. I really think I like this green one. Um, can we have something in between? <clears throat> okay, what did I put all my butterflies? Rachel's since they're Rachel's butterflies mostly. I mean I do have a few that I've found on Biodiversity Heritage Library and stuff but <clears throat> I mostly use hers. This is all her Easter stuff. Ginormous. That one would work. Let's go with that one. This is how I end up in a giant mess. Paper doll that got away. It's so funny. I found out yesterday that um, Janice, who I'm making the journal for has the same birthday I do. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. So happy birthday Janice. That's always fun. Not that it's uh, super novel or something, but it's just fun when you hear somebody has your same birthday.
Like it there. Okay, I think that's good. And then I will end up, like I said, you know, cutting it into pockets and tags and all manner of thing. So yeah, those papers are very fun. And just add a few extra little fun things. So hopefully that's something that everybody feels like they might be able to obtain and use. So what I did is I have my journal that looks really horrendous right now, but I promise it will look better. <laughs> and I made a big envelope for it so that it can go in and once it's all covered in fabric and stuff and it does kind of want to grab a little bit at the lace and I thought about lining it but um, I am not that good of a seamstress so I don't know that I would do a very good job of that um, but anyway it's gonna look something like this and this is a vintage tapestry um, tablecloth so there's a few spots on it and I've washed it so it's clean it's just those spots are stains and they won't come out so and it's been well used you can tell in spots because the like some of the edging around the flowers and stuff has come off um, this particular piece looks pretty good as far as that goes but there are a few other pieces that are a little worse for the wear but anyway that's my big lacy envelope for Janice so I hope you guys have an awesome day and I know this was a little bit shorter of a video but um, that's all I've really got today so we will chat again tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Bye now.